What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be running you through my fire lighting kit. So this is what's in my tinderbox that I take out every time I go camping. Let's get to it. So very quickly, I'll just run you through what I've got and then I'll show you how to use a few of these bits. So I've got three fire steels. I don't normally take all of them. Usually probably just one, maybe a backup one. Uh, but I've got one from Light My Fire. I've got one from the Bushcraft store and I've got a Ray Mears one as well. Uh, these are strikers used for the fire steels. I like to use them rather than my knife. Uh, we've got some cotton wool. We've got various types of matches. So these are just normal kind of matches. These are special ones with a bit of wax on them that you can see so they burn longer. This is a little piece of fat wood, which is fantastic. And then we've got various little bits of twine and rope here. We've got cotton wool pads. We've got some uh, really bog standard duct tape, not great for the environment, but it does burn really well and for a long time. So that's really cool to get a fire going. Uh, this was given to me by my buddy Grazy over at Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival. Uh, it's a bit of his fat rope, uh, which is basically a combination of rope and duct tape and numerous other bits and pieces which burns really well and for a long time. Uh, in here, I'll show you this more closely in a minute, again from Grazy, uh, we've got some Maya dust which again is absolutely fantastic, uh, hit with a spark, it'll go up like uh, anything. Uh, I usually take some Vaseline with me, petroleum jelly for anyone that doesn't know, uh, is really really good, it works like a bit like a candle, uh, candle wax so it burns, makes things burn for a lot longer. We've got a piece of steel and a piece of flint also to get some sparks going. Uh, in this tiny little box here, I've got my striker uh, pad for the matches, uh, and of course, I've got a normal bog standard lighter as well. So, let's show you how some of this works. Okay, so first thing, easiest one to use, uh, as I'm sure you guys have done this before, particularly if you like bushcrafting, is cotton wool. So cotton wool is a really, really great tinder source. Uh, I am not particularly great with natural tinder, so that's why I like to take this stuff with me. Uh, this stuff works brilliantly. All you do is fluff it up so it's nice and fibrous, pop it on the ground, and take a ferro rod or a lighter, and all you're gonna do, strike a quick spark into it, and as you can see, it goes up like anything. So really, really great, really, really, uh, really, really reliable. Can't really go wrong with a piece of cotton wool. As you can see, it burns pretty quickly, and that is where the Vaseline comes in. Now, if I use another one of these, just to demonstrate the difference, uh, again, I'm gonna separate it out, and I'm gonna take a decent sized globule of Vaseline, which I'm gonna pop into my cotton wool. Again, fluffing it up a bit, and I put that in there, Nice, get it on there, move it around a bit, get it all over your fingers, there we go. So, pop that down again, and we'll strike a spark into it, and you should see, hopefully, burns for considerably longer uh, than this piece that's pretty much already gone. Okay, so as you can see, the Vaseline makes a massive difference. It burns for so much longer than it would normally without it. Um, so big, big help when you're getting your fire going. Um, so I obviously I did that using the ferro rod. Ferro rods or fire steels are really easy to get a spark going. Um, another more primitive way or more, more traditional way of getting a spark is using uh, these. So this is a piece of flint that I just found on the ground today. Uh, and this is my steel. Uh, the idea with these is you knock the two together, um, the steel onto the, onto the flint and it will create a spark, hopefully like so. So a flint and steel will get you a spark that generally burns up to about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Um, so still more than enough to, uh, to get some Tinder going, but not like the hottest thing in the world. And it can take some time uh, and, you know, it takes practice and, and patience and that kind of thing. Uh, the idea is you put a piece of, you pinch a piece of um, usually char cloth or something like that with your thumb, um, just hanging over the edge there. And then you strike and hopefully get sparks to land in it uh, and get your ember going. Uh, as I say, very, I say very kind of primitive method. It burns about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Whereas these, so the fire steels, uh, these much more modern thing, these ones will burn up to about 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, the sparks are a lot bigger, a lot brighter, they're a lot hotter, which means it's a much easier and more modern way of getting your fire going. So very, very useful, both very, very useful bits of kit. The bits of duct tape, um, again, not particularly brilliant for the environment, uh, but a perfectly legit way of getting a, uh, a fire going if you need to in a sort of survival kind of situation. I tend to avoid using these if I can, but if I really need to, then, uh, then uh, you know, they do work. Um, you usually have to use a lighter to get them going. Obviously, you can unroll bits and just use a little bit if you need to, uh, but the, I, what I would tend to do usually is make like a little sort of triangle like that with them. Maybe put some more tinder in the middle. I don't know, like, if you've got it. Uh, a little bit of cotton wool or you know some kind of dry twigs put your dry twigs over the top whatever it might be uh, and use your lighter boom to light the uh, light the side of the of the duct tape and, and just let it go they will burn for absolutely ages and um, you'll get a fire going pretty easy I'm not going to do it because I don't want to burn the plastic and also because uh, my light is not particularly great and probably wouldn't to get these going anyway but yeah really really useful uh, in a pinch all right, next up we've got these uh, twines or threads that uh, again were a gift from my buddy uh, Grazy over at Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival. Uh, again, as you can imagine, keep these dry and they will, uh, they'll definitely help you get a fire going. All you need to do is untwist them, untwist them as much as you can so the ends are particularly fibrous, set a flame to it and it's going to burn down your twine uh, for a long time into your main body of fire and you know, get it going that way. Uh, so yeah, very, very useful, very, very good bit of, uh, bit of stuff to have in your kit. All right, so this is Maya dust. Now, for anybody that doesn't know what this is, it is effectively shavings of fatwood. So fatwood is wood that's got loads and loads of really cool resins and oils in it that make it brilliant for fine lighting. And what Grazy has done here is effectively take a piece of fat, uh, fatwood and just shave it and shave it and shave it to get these really, really lovely thin curls that basically looks like dust. Uh, and the way you use these is you take a big old pinch of it, uh, pop it onto, the, onto your uh, fire lay and spark it with a, a ferro rod. Um, I'm not going to do it because, well, I don't want to waste my Maya dust uh, and you need like a decent pinch of it to get it going, which, because uh, this is the only pot I've got, would be a little bit of a waste. But yeah, absolutely fantastic if you can get it. So my little tin here, I've got another ignition method, uh, which are matches, which uh, I'm sure you've uh, used before at some point. I have some normal kind of bog standard ones, and I've also got these very cool extra ones, which uh, have a bit of wax on them, uh, just like a candle, so they burn for a bit longer. Uh, strikers stuck to the underside of the tin lid, so very, very easy, very, very compact. This little tin just sits in my pouch that I got from uh, the Bushcraft store, uh, so easy access, always have it on me, very easy to get a fire going if I need to. All right guys, so that's kind of it. Nice quick video just to let you know what's in my fire kit. Um, the stuff I tend to use most, as you uh, as you might well have guessed, is the cotton wool and Vaseline trick. Um, works wonders. You don't particularly need the Vaseline, but uh, but it does help. Makes life a bit easier when you're out and about. Um, I do want to get a lot better with natural tinders. Um, you know, all of this stuff is fine. You know, it works, it's easy, but you've got to carry it all in. Um, I would much rather be able to go out into the woods and just rely on my uh, like foraging and, and bushcraft skills uh, natural skills, primitive skills to uh, to get a fire going. Um, so we will be working on that um, over the course of the next few months, years, however however long it takes. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, this stuff works great. So um, there you have it, guys. If you think there's anything that I haven't got that you guys like to take out as a man-made tinder that works really well, please let me know in the comments, and if I can get a hold of it, uh, maybe I'll give it a try. Um, as I said, some of this stuff has come from my buddy Grazy over at Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival, so please do go make sure you check him out. He sells this stuff. Um, online as well so if you fancy picking up any of his uh, any of his kit uh, I can recommend all of it it's it's absolutely fantastic does the job brilliantly go and go and check him out and uh, go and give him some of your hard-earned cash <laughs> um, anyway uh, in the meantime guys thank you very much for watching uh, I shall see you very soon take care